Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up a cross-force trust between the Novell domain services for Windows domain and the Microsoft Active Directory domain. So in previous videos, we went through created a domain in Active Directory, set up forwarder so that we can resolve, and now we're going to continue that process. So first of all, we just want to make sure that we can resolve a, a couple of records. We should be able to do it since with the forwarders. If the forwarders are not working correctly, then we've got some we need to troubleshoot that but this resolving is the key so in this case we can see our record right here and that we're looking for it's non-authoritative so it means it's forwarding it it's returning the information back and it's letting us know that that it's re returning this from the AD side and it's giving the IP address so it's working perfect the other record the check just is this one right here the LDAP TCP just wanna run that real quick same thing it's returning usually if one works the other does so again we're we're doing forwarders so there's other ways you can do it you can do zone transfers you could export the zone from the AD side and import it on the DSFW or export it from the DSFW DNS and import it onto the AD it's all up to you let's uh, also just make sure that reverse lookup is looking or working And that's the IP address of the AD server. It works great. If we wanted to, we could also just uh, just make sure DSFW side is working. I trust it is. It's, it's returning the information back just right. So let's just take a look at these records where they're at here. So we've got our Java console, and this is our uh, you know our forwarder that we set up for the AD side. So just letting us know that. This is where we need to. We're hitting this server. We need to go over uh, to the, this the server that's hosting this zone. So in this case, the DSFW server. We can we have the records here. So we did a query for this record, and we can see the information. If we look there, we can look over here and see the priority wait port all right there. If we come back and look at the other record that we searched on this again same information it, it's all right here so that that's this this is the record that we're actually querying these two records so we can see that those exist now let's do the same let's go and look at the microsoft side so we are over here on the microsoft side let's do a query for the dsfw domain Again, we can see it, it hits non-authoritative, gives us a list, priority weight, port, and which server that we retrieve that information from, from. Let's do this again for the other record. Works perfect. All right, we, we should be good. Uh, I'm going to show you something else to, to pay, pay attention to after resolving is, is working great we want to make sure that we're at the proper domain level um, well, you know what let me look show you the DNS records first on the Microsoft site just so you can see what they look like it's very different it's a lot of clicking kinda confusing uh, confuses a lot of people but uh, so the first one that's no the AD MC SDS and then you look under there for the, T, the DC and then look under there for TCP and ultimately we get to the LDAP record so that's what it actually looks like on the uh, Microsoft uh, DNS server so there's that one the other one is down here TCP and then over here LDAP and again the the serve record okay that that's just showing you what uh, the DNS looks like on there if you can make sense of that you're but better man than me than me so <laughs> I uh, not a fan of the Microsoft DNS okay next piece we want to look at the zone or not the zones the the level that the forest and the domain is set at so if we just go to the this top part is the forest the second is the domain we want to look at this we can we can just do raise function level if this is a 
Windows 2003 server, most likely you're going to have to raise the function level. So current forest function level is, uh, we're already set at 2003. Since this is a 2008 server and we installed at a 2003, uh, again, you cannot go backwards. Once you've raised it, you're there. So, and right now at this time, it's only 2003 domains that are supported with uh, domain services for Windows. So we don't want to raise it, we just want to cancel. And we would check also, make sure that the AD is, or the AD domain is the 2003 server. Again, that's, we don't want to raise it, we're set. So we, we want, we could go through and actually create the trust right now. Do If you go to properties and we click the trust button, or trust, trust tab and do a new trust and follow the wizard. Uh, before I do that, you can do this on the AD side or the DSFW side. Let's go over to a just an XP box that's joined to the domain. Like XP, it doesn't take as much resources as 2000 or Windows 7, especially in VM. So I use it a lot. <laughs> it uh, here, here, so we, here again we have the Active Directory domains and trusts. Let's, we can, this is actually on the DSFW side, so we look at the forest. We want to take a look at it. We can see oh, that for the forest, it's at 2003, and we cannot change it on the DSFW side. It's, that's it. 2003 is it. So you can see it actually thinks it's a Windows 2003 domain, or forest, and a Windows 2003 domain. So again, we can do it from both sides as far as making the trust. We're going to just go to properties, look at the trusts. Nothing's there. Say new trust. And we'll follow this wizard. So we're going to put in the other domain. So we're on the DSFW side. We're going to do the ad.novell.com. We're going to specify a force trust. This is just the, using Kerberos uh, standard with the external trust. It's very different. Don't do that. <laughs> we want a force trust. We want it to be two-way, even though really it's only a one-way trust. Microsoft will trust Novell. Novell will not trust Microsoft. Now uh, we get to the sides. We want to do both this domain and the specified domain. And we're going to put in the administrator and the password. This is on the AD side, so you can see specify domain. Okay, and then next. And we're going to do a forest wide. We're not, we're not selecting specific uh, domains or anything like that. We're just the entire, we're going to start from the top of the forest. So anything from that down. Again, the other side outgoing, that was in. This was uh, local forest, specified forest, next, and next. And if we want to confirm it, and if we want to confirm it, I think we have to authenticate on this one, maybe not. No, no, we don't. Okay, that's it. We can see that uh, we have this, the trust is all set up. Say finish, and there it is both ways so domain trust this this the outgoing trust is AD the incoming trust we show AD even though really it's not trusting it completely so that was it um, one more thing I'll show you in the, we'll go back to our DSW server and I've got iManager open here let's just uh, browse when you set this up uh, in the users container down here there will be a trust object and it will be the name of the domain so this is our trust object don't delete that object you're gonna to have to recreate your trust if by chance you have a problem with your trust or you delete the trust and you're having problems creating the trust look for this trust object maybe it's still there you just need to delete it and uh, then that will let you continue your your uh, building your trust so I hope that was helpful, gave you some pointers on things to look at. Again, DNS is key. If you can resolve, generally you're in the clear. Um, and, and then as long as you're a 2003 domain. 
All right, thanks for watching.